Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Katia? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, nice. How was your day? It was um, busy. And you had a busy day? I'm so okay. tired. Oh, so all right. What did you do today? I went to my work in Metapan and I had to drive every day uh, Santana to Metapan, from Santana to Metapan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and yes, it's tiring, right? It takes yeah. like more than, a, than one hour, or how long does it take? Um, for 14 minutes. Minute oh, or, or sometimes 45 minutes. Okay, or, or 40 to 45. Okay. Yeah, it's a hard trip, right? Especially if you do it every day. Yes. All right. And tell me about the platform, Katia. How are you doing? Always in section four. But in, in point ten. All right, Thanks. that's nice. Let's see you with me. Oh, you're almost done. Nice. Rene, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Ooh, I had a Sorry, Rene, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, I had a very busy day. Oh, okay, you had a busy one. What did you do today? Mm. In the morning, uh, I went to my office and worked on my computer, my computer, checking the balances of some customer. Mm. Mm. In the afternoon, I had a meeting with a supplier. Oh, right. Okay, nice. You had a lot to do today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and how yes. about the platform, Rene? What section are you in? Uh, I, I am going to start uh, unit four uh, today. Okay, fine. Just remember that we have to complete a section four this week. So keep working. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Um, let me see. Reina Acosta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Um, it was um, uh, very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. What did you do? Um, bueno, um, a computer class. Okay. Um, to a student. Oh, you teach, Reina? Are you a teacher? Yes. All right. Yes. That's interesting. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. And the platform, Reina? I finally uh, session four. You're in section four. Okay. Very well. Thank you. Marco Antonio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? It was great. All right, nice. Tell me about your day. What did you do? Well, let me see. First, I went to the to my school, and I had to get my homeworks, and uh, then I had to go out with my dogs, and finally, I come here. Okay, all right, that's nice. 
And how about the platform, Marco? How are you doing? Um, I'm in the last test, but I need to finish the second part. Okay, you're doing pretty well. Nice, you're almost done. Almost. Great. Let me see, um, Roxana Amaya, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Um, I'm good. It was just good? Yes. What did you do today, Roxana? Um, I, um, I was, um, I went to um, work. Um, when uh, um, went to work. Went no went yes, went, went uh, uh, to supermarket. Okay. And um, when uh, <laughs> prepare uh, dinner. All right, that's nice. In the platform, Roxana, what section are you in? Um, today finish uh, section four. Okay, you're done with section four. Awesome, very nice. Marta Menjiva, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? I'm great. All right, that's nice. And how was your day? I had a great day. My it's sister nice. is getting married in, oh. on Saturday. Oh, that's nice. Very yes. good news. So mm -hmm. we we preparing. We are preparing. We're getting ready for the party. <laughs> exactly. Okay, sounds great. And how about the platform, Marta? What uh, section are you in? Yes, uh, 4.8. Okay. But I have uh, <clears throat> questions. Tell me. Um, in the videos, don't, I don't see the check green. Mm -hmm. And uh, I add the comment in the box mm -hmm. but i don't see the check okay. so i don't know um and have you checked the progress exactly mm -hmm. i mean have you checked the in your platform have you checked the progress if it's uh, taken into account or something and um, maybe you can check the percentage um, if you're doing well with that that will be fine then if you have any trouble with it uh, you should contact jason or jonathan so they okay. can help you okay thanks all right let's see manuel alejandro good evening good evening for sure how's everything manuel it's fine okay how was your day i have a good day that's good. What did you do? In the morning, I went to my class. And after the afternoon, I went to my house, um, study, watch TV. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Sounds nice. What do you study? In the morning. Yeah. What do you study? Um, uh, in the morning, uh, cooking lessons. Okay. All right. And tell me about the platform. What section are you in? I finish all. Oh, you're done. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let me see Roberto Sarceño. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How's everything, Roberto? How are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. And you? Okay, great. I'm doing well, thanks. 
And how about your day, Roberto? How was it? Uh, my day is very excellent. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. What did you do today? Uh, I only did work. Only work. My, my, my job, yes. Okay. All right, fine. And tell me about the platform. What section are you in? And uh, it's section 3.2. You're still in section 3. Okay. Okay, that's good. Just remember that this week we have to complete all section 4 also. Okay. So keep working. Evis Mendez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm good. Thanks. And how about your day? How was it? Um, um, fine. It's the same all day. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just a usual day. Yes. Yeah. All right. And how about the platform? How are you doing with that? I'm working in a, in the section three, uh, but I have problems with the platform. Oh, it really? Doesn't work. But tomorrow I'm I'm working on that. Okay, fine. So remember that if you have any trouble, you can contact Jason or Jonathan. They will help you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Let's see, Sandra, Jasmine. Good evening. Oh. Okay, Sandra, that's fine. Thanks. All right, so we're ready to start. And let me see what we got for today's class. Okay, so welcome everybody to our second class of the week. And we are going to start by reviewing what we studied yesterday, which was yes, no questions using do or does. And remember that we use the structure um, do or does, then the subject, then we add the verb. And after that, we add the complement and the question mark, which is also really important when making interrogative sentences. And remember that we use do for what subjects? Uh, do is for I. I, you. You. They, we. They and we, okay? They, it's we. for I, you, we, and they. And that is for? He, he, she, he. It. It. She, it, for the third person, right? Okay, and here we have some examples. Uh, we got, do you like electronic music? And in order to answer, we have the options, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do they love oranges? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Now, um, let me ask you to give me some more examples. Can we make some questions using do or does? Do you like to travel in the other country? Can you repeat it, please? Do you like to travel? The do other you like country? to travel? Okay, good. Do you like to travel to other countries? Nice. Any other? Any other example of a question using do or does? Does she like cooking? Does she like cooking? Very well. Mm -hmm. Any other? Um, she does, like dance. does she like to dance? 
Does she like to dance? Okay, very well. That is the way we, we make questions using do or does. Now let's continue practicing by asking our classmates some questions about their likes. So we are going to ask questions using the structure, do you like? in the different vocabulary we have here. For example, do you like ice cream? Do you like country music? Do you like drawing? Do you like English? Do you like board games? And so on. And I'll start asking one person and then that person is going to continue asking another person and so on, right? We keep making a chain. So let me ask Marta, do you like ice cream? Yes, I like it. Okay, good. Marta, you ask another person, please. Um, Reina Eloisa, do you like chocolate? I like chocolate. Okay, Reina, continue asking. Katia, um, perdón. Katia, um, do you like English? Katia? I, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear. Okay, can you repeat the question, please? Do you like English? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Katia, you ask another person, please. Okay. Mm. Mm. Evie? Do you like fish? No, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Evie's? Uh, continue asking. Uh, quiero ver. Roberto. Uh, do you like uh, cake? Mm, yes, I like cake. Okay, Roberto, choose another person and ask. Uh, René, do you like swimming? Hey, check your microphone, René. Repeat, please. Do you like swimming? Do you like swimming? Swimming. High screen. Swimming. Ah, okay. Yes, I like swimming. Okay, very good. Rene, now continue asking, please. Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro, do you like cake? Yes, I love cake. All right, Manuel, now it's your turn to ask. Okay, how about we ask Marco Antonio? Okay, Marco Antonio, uh, do you like dogs? Yes, I like dogs. I have two. Okay, very well. Now, Marco, you ask Maritza de Villalta. Maritza, do you like um, apple juice? Yes, I like apple juice. Excellent. Maritza, ask Maritza Padilla. Do you like Maritza Padilla lizards? 
tres semanas. Y en su versión fue para medio punto. Vamos a presentarle. Maritza Padilla, are you there? Okay, how about we ask let me see, Oscar Antonio? Do you like Oscar Antonio Lizard? Uh, no, I hate Lizard. You hate them, okay. Uh, Oscar, you ask, um, let me see, Reina Costa. Uh, Reina Costa, do you like teddy bears? Yes, I do. I like teddy bears. Okay. Excellent. Reina ask Roxana. Roxana, do you like flowers? Yes, I love flowers. Okay, and Roxana, we ask um, Sandra, Jasmine. Oh, but Sandra cannot answer, so it's okay. Um, is anybody missing? I think everybody has participated. Okay. Do you like uh, cats? Okay, let's see if we can get an answer from Sandra, Jasmine. Do you like cats? Oh, I see the answer on the chat. Yes, I like it. And she also sends a question to Marta Menjivar. Do you like apple juice? Yes, I like it. Okay, very well. So thanks everybody for participating. Now let's continue by watching a video on the platform. And then we are going to explain today's topic. Yeah, let's see. At the end of the oh, I heard somebody said um, she had a question. Lo voy a decir en español. Me enviaron al WhatsApp ahora y me dijeron que tenía hasta el día de mañana para terminar hasta la unidad 5. Eh, no, no es precisamente que tengamos hasta mañana para terminar el trabajo en plataforma, sino se refiere a que tienen el, el espacio para enviar la aplicación para la próxima, para el próximo curso, el próximo módulo. Entonces hay que enviar por favor esa información y completar el trabajo en plataforma eh, lo más pronto posible, así aseguramos en nuestro cupo, ¿verdad? Porque recordemos que aunque enviemos documentos y nos inscribamos, estamos sujetos a aprobar este curso para poder ingresar al siguiente, ¿verdad? A eso se refieren, Roxana. Um, bueno, no mañana, sino me decía esta semana, tenía que, que, tenía que terminar hasta la, semana, hasta la sección 5 esta semana. Así me tenemos, dice... tenemos hasta la próxima semana, el día miércoles estaríamos cerrando. El día miércoles tiene que estar realizado incluso el examen final. Luego en ah, la conferencia ah, del día jueves estaríamos eh, repasando un poco y pues dando ahí un poco de feedback pero sí debemos haber completado el día miércoles de la próxima semana. No, Ese es el sí, día de cierre. Me sorprendió un poco que decía esta semana. Okay. No sé es más. la próxima, ¿ok? En esta clase, los participantes will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions, and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. 
Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does. Do. Us. Did you notice the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Mind that whenever we use does, the verb. Okay, so as you see, we have two different kinds of questions. We got the yes no questions that go like Do you like rap? Does he play the piano? Do they like the Beatles? And remember that those are called yes, no questions because we can answer them by just providing that short answer, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Then we have the WH questions. We do. And we got some examples such as what kind of music do you like? What does he play? Who do they like? Remember that these ones cannot be, um, cannot be answered only with a yes or no. They need more information. They require you to give a specific um, answer, right? For example, here, what kind of music do you like? Rock, right? That is the kind of music. What does he play? The guitar. That is the answer to that what? Who do they like? You too. You too, that is the who. And um, that will be the difference between the yes, no questions and the WH questions or information question, questions. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Yes, yes I, do. I do. I like, I it, like a lot. it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like, like him very much. much. Does he play the piano? Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Do they like the Beatles? Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. Yes, they do. They love, love them. them. No, they don't like them very much. Yes. No, they, they don't, don't like them, them, very, them much. very much. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music, music do, you like? do you like? I like rock a lot. I, I like rock a lot. lot. What does he play? What, what does, he does, does he play? play? He plays the guitar. Who do they like? What do they like? Who do they like? Who do they like? 
They like you too. They like you too. Okay, now let's practice the object pronouns. Repeat, please. Me. Me. You. 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 Him. 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 Hair. 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 It. 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 Us. 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 Them. 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 Okay, very well. Now let me explain a couple of things about the WH questions. Remember that we have some different WH question words. And we have what, which is to ask about things. And we can use it in different phrases such as what kind, what color, what time. Then we have who. It is used to ask about people. Where is as is used to ask about places. When is for asking about time. And how is for asking about manner. And we use it in phrases such as how much, how many, how often. And just remember that we require some specific information with each of the with each of the WH question words. Now let's practice them. Repeat, please. What? 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 Who? 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 Where? 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 When? 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 How? 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 Okay, and remember to make the difference between this one and this one. We got who and how. Who? How? Repeat. Who? Who? How? How? Okay, and now uh, the structure for the information questions is this one. We use the WH word at the beginning. We have what, who, where, when, or how. Then we add the auxiliary verb, do or does. After the auxiliary, we use the subject. And then we add a verb. After the verb, we get the complement and the question mark. And we got some examples. What do you do? Where does she live? When do we start our English classes? How many watches do you have? Now let's try to answer them. Uh, what can we answer to what do you do? What can be an answer for that? What do you do? I'm working right now. Why I'm working oh. right now or? or... Uh, okay, let I, me remind you that the question, I what stand. do you? Go ahead, tell me. I stand. Oh, okay, so oh. let's uh, make the difference between the the two questions. The question, what do you do, is, is to ask about occupation or profession. So in this case, you would answer, for example, uh, I'm a teacher. teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher, I'm a secretary, I'm a doctor, I'm an engineer. You just mentioned what you do, right, for a living. Then we have the question in the, in the present continuous, which is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Which is different, right? What are you okay. doing? I'm studying in English. In the moment. I'm taking in a class. Moment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It okay. is to ask, what the, to ask about the things that are happening at the moment of speaking. Okay. okay. What so, do you do is, is in a my job. Exactly, your job, your mm -hmm. occupation, your profession. Okay, so here we would say, for example, I'm an engineer, let's say. Then we have, where does she live? What can we answer? She lives in Spain. She lives in Spain. 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 Okay, Spain. next. When do we start our English classes? Last year. 
Um, okay, remember that we're talking in the simple present. We, so it's a routine. Start, right? When do we start we our English start. classes? We start our English classes. English class. The next. Uh, next week. Month. Next week. Okay. Uh, yes, in this case, we could use it for the future, referring to the future, we start next week. Or you can also use it for the present, like when do we start our English classes? We start our English classes at 9 p.m., for instance. So it could be both answers. And, uh, well, if you mentioned the time when you started in the past, then that would be, we would have to change the question to when did you start? your English classes, for instance. Okay, then we have the next one, which is how many watches do you have? What can I we answer? Watch. I have two watches. All right, very well. That's how we answer. Remember that we have to provide the information that we are asked for or the information that is required. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, let's continue then. Oops, let me erase this. Okay, now it's time to practice. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you practice in small groups and we're going to solve some different exercises. Exercise A is a making questions using the auxiliaries do or does and writing short answers. For example, here we have you play soccer. What's the question? Do you play soccer? Yes, we say, do you play soccer? And what could be the answers? Yes, I do. Do they? Yes, I do. Or oh, no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Very well, that's what you have to do in exercise one or exercise A. Then the next exercise is only speaking. You have to complete the questions orally and ask and answer them. We've got 10 different questions. You go like, what kind of music do you listen to? What kind of music do you listen to? Or where do you usually go on weekends? Where do you usually go on weekends? So you complete the questions and then you ask your classmates and you get it, the answers, of course. In exercise C, we have to make questions from the answers. So we got, for example, oops, uh, we work on Sundays. We work on Sundays. What could be the question here? Do you work? Mm. When do you work? When? When, when do you work? When do, when do you work? work? Or when do we work? In this case, we could use a, any of those. When do you work or when do we work? And the answer is the highlighted information oh. on Sundays, right? That will oh, be the Sunday. answer. So that is what you have to do. You have to ask for the information that is highlighted. Okay, um, any questions about this? No? Okay, let me send you to the breakout rooms right now and we are going to get the practice in the WhatsApp group. So, okay, rooms are open.
Do you play soccer? Sería, do you play eh, soccer? The, yes. Do you play soccer? Eh, number two. Today. That's Today. Uh -huh. that's they read books. They, do they read books? Do they? Do. That's a he, okay. brother. That's a your brother. Tell me who. Sería la tercera. What? That's that's, that's your brother. brother. Uh -huh. Travel by bus. Travel by bus. Travel by bus. Nice bus. Uh -huh. Nice bus. Nice bus. And for in sorry, just remember that you have to also say the short answers. Ah, so keep practicing, okay. Okay? No falta contestar. Gracias. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> One, entonces sería I am, yes, I am two. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. ¿Quién va? Tú sería... Uh, yes. They are. Remember to use do or does. Yes, they do. No. No, I don't. They no, don't. I don't. They don't. They, they I don't. Uh, you know, they don't. Let you read from the they do. Three, la respuesta entonces sería <clears throat> yes. He don't. He does. He does. Perdón. No. He does. No. He does not. He, he doesn't. He does not. Okay, very well. No, he doesn't. He doesn't or he does not. Very well. He does not. Or. Or is. They dogs. No, es. Dos. 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 Is, is do, do dogs. Yes, do dogs. in that case we use do. No, do not. Do, do dog like cat. That's good. That's good. Yes. Yes, is, they. Is dog. It. No, yes, it. 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 Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. Uh, no. No. Yes, number... yes, they do. And number four. Yes. Sí, number four. Probably. Yes, they. Yes, they do. No, yes, they, they do. doesn't. No, they no, don't. They don't exactly. No, they so don't. So we say, do dogs like cats? Yes, they do. No, they don't. And remember that if we are talking about only one dog, then we take it as it. Si estuviéramos hablando de un solo perro, sería it, dog, it. Pero como estamos hablando de un plural, o sea, varios perros, eh, then we replace it by they. Entonces ya no sería el pronombre correspondiente, ya no sería it, sino que they que es para los plurales. 
Es por eso que utilizamos do. Do dogs like cats? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Number five is do monkeys eat bananas? Yes. Do monkeys yes, eat bananas? No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. It's plural. Number six. Hey, yes. Mm, yes, we have money. Number six is, does he, does he? No, sería who? No. No. Yeah, very well. How about to drive? Oh. Six, yeah. Do you like music? Does he like? What, what does? Wow. Es que las seis las preguntas sería qué tipo de música le gusta a Alan. Uh -huh. What kind of music? What kind of music Alan like? What kind? Do you like? What kind of music? What kind of music does Alan like? As somebody does. said. Yes. Mm -hmm. We use does because we're talking about Alan. Mm -hmm. That's Alan. Yep. I... That's Alan like. Este sería who do they invite to the parties? Who? Who, who do they, do they? invite to the party? The neighborhood. Yes. Oh. Who do they? I am who, who, who do they invite to the parties? Yes, that is fine. Who do they invite who to do the they parties? Invite? Mm -hmm. Okay. The neighbor. The neighbor. So, when 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 does Karen Sevilla visit? Who do they invite to the neighbor? Who do they? 
page. ¿Cómo quedaría? When does Karen visit her best friend? Karen visit her best friend. In that case, in that case, we do not use when because we're talking about no. frequency. So what do we use? How many? Well, how um, often? You're getting how often, exactly. How, how often? often. Mm -hmm. mm. How often? Karen visit her uh, best friend. Okay. How often? That's how Karen. Often. Does yeah. Karen visit the friend? How often does Karen oh, visit okay. her best friend? Yes. Uh, how often you know put the does? How, how often, often Karen? How often yes. does Karen visit her best friend? Yes. Yes. How often does Karen visit her best friend? Uh, lo repasamos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or... Uh, I start. Uh, two. Okay, the, the other. What? What do you Uh -huh. Where do they swim? Mm -hmm. Where do they swim? They swim in the river. The tree, the fire, uh, the, the, the river. Is very, uh, how, how, how does she drive? How, uh -huh. how does she drive? She does, drives very well. How does she drive? Mm -hmm. Very well. She drives Number very well. well. Remember that the verb goes in the infinitive. So how does she drive? How does she drive? How does how does she drive? No she drives. S. No, S. no S in question. So yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Is what how does she drive? Okay. Uh, the seats, what kind, what kind of music, uh, what kind of music, what kind of music, So what kind of music do or does Alan? Or, or does, uh, does, does, does Alan like? Exactly. It goes like that. The number, number seven. They invite their neighbors to the parties. Uh, Who, I see. who do they who do they invite? Who do they invite to the party? That's correct. The party. Mm -hmm. They invite their neighbor to the party. Party. Okay. Number eight. Mm -hmm. When, who, 
when does Karen visit um, her best uh, friend? No, twice a week is when, is when. Mm, no, not really. We did not use when in that okay. one. And remember that twice a week is frequency. So what do we say? What do we use? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, how? How? How often? How often? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How often, how, often. Uh, how often does Karen visit her best, her best, her best friend? How, okay. Mm -hmm. How often uh, Karen visits her best friend? Okay. Okay, we finish. You're done. You finish all three exercises. Oh, that's nice. Do you have any questions, any doubts? No questions? I don't. Okay, fine. No, no. All right, so we got a couple of minutes and then we come back to the main room, okay? Meanwhile, you can keep on asking and answering. Just keep talking, but in English, please. <laughs> Okay, see you in a okay. moment. Uh, on the week, algo así como. No, no te entiendo, no entiendo lo que están haciendo. No, 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 Uh -huh. okay. Algo así. Uh -huh. Y la segunda sería okay. What do you buy? Buy. Como, ¿Qué compraste? What do you buy? La respuesta, I buy cars. Yo compré carros. But remember, we are using the present. So, what do you buy? ¿Qué compras? I buy cars, compro carros. So, remember, this is the present. Okay. And the number one, teacher? In number one, we say, when do we work? Or, when do you work? When do you work? Yep. When do you work? On Sundays. When do you work? On Sundays. Cuando trabajas? Los domingos, right? On Sundays. Okay. What do you buy? Where, where does he go, the, go on Fridays? He goes to the beach on Friday. ¿A dónde va los domingos? Das, sería das, porque where habla de he. What does he? Where does he? Where does he? Where does he? He, he on Fridays. On Friday. Where does he go on Fridays? Where does he go on okay, Fridays. it's time to come back. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay. All right, hello everybody. Um, did you finish the exercises? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, some finished and some didn't. All right, don't worry about it. We are going to check them tomorrow. So, um, so we keep on practicing.
And that will be all for today's class. Thanks for your attention. Take care and have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone.